it's Ultraman, it's the anime guy. We're gonna react, we're gonna have fun, we're gonna let's rock and roll. Five, four, three, two, What's happening, everybody? Polly here on the Latino Slant. I'm trying to find my link for my. <laughs> I mean, I got so I got to clean up these these banners. You know, I'm trying to find the link for my merch page. There it is. Um, before we start all the festivities, check out Mark. All that stuff. Our official merchandise page. We have fun stuff like this. Also, too, if you sign up, you get twenty up to twenty percent off. There it is right there. All these different designs, including the Mexican wrestler mask on T-shirts. It's a lot of fun. It is a fun site. It is our merchandise page. And if you do not hit my merchandise page, I'll, I'll, my head will explode like this. But, but in serio, uh, that's our merchandise. I... I, I just don't do a great job of promoting it. And I have now been in the last couple of videos. Okay, cool. So what we're doing is we're going to obviously react to these trailers that you guys have recommended from Japan. Ultraman. Who does not know Ultraman? It, it's slowly com coming back to this old brain. But I wanted to bring in someone who really knows this world because I'm, I'm, I'm a foggy dude in, in that, that respect. And this gentleman has a, a, a YouTube channel dedicated to anime, dedicated to that whole world. And I couldn't think of anyone better than to, to, than to, you know, kind of like, you know, talk about it, but also too check this out, guys. He's a member of the channel. How wonderful is that? And I, I want to bring up his, let me find his, his spotlight. His, his name is the anime guy. Well, his name is Brandon, but uh, <laughs> he goes by the anime guy. And for some reason, I'm having a hard time finding his. Where is it? I just there. There it is. <laughs> me and me and banners are not working out on this video right now. OK, so it's called the anime guy. There's a link to his YouTube channel. He's also a member. He has been a member of uh, the Latino Slant. He's been around with me since almost the beginning of my channel. And I really appreciate Brandon coming on. Hola, amigo. What's up, buddy? Hola, amigo. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah. Yeah. What do, what do you, you're welcome, first of all. Thank you for being a Slantino and for, for helping this channel out, man. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I definitely appreciate all the hard work you do and uh, all the videos and topics that you discuss. Even though I myself am not uh, of the culture, I I love learning about the culture. Well, you know, I, I realize whether it's the, the Latino culture, American, Japanese, Indian, international, uh, the Viking stuff. What we, you know, there's so there's so much fun stuff in this world that we share. And that we like or we like discuss and we nerd out on it's it's incredible it truly is yes and yes uh digging into the to the anime and into japanese cinema that's uh that's a whole can of worms that uh <laughs> is always a lot of fun to dig into well tell 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 everyone uh you know just on just like give us a big you know brush stroke on what you do on your channel on the anime guy well, I primarily talk about anime. I cover I cover anime news. I I put together uh, you know five packs of shows for specific topics that I've been doing for the month. Uh, since uh, since coming back to YouTube at in January, we have covered the '80s, the '90s, the 2000s, and we're currently in modern anime, uh, which is uh, for me from about 2010, 2011 to now, and. Just looking at all the different shows, all the different genres, uh, some of the new genres that have come up uh, from from gaming culture. The whole right. idea of being sent to another world that's actually inside of a game—that's a that's a fairly new trope that uh, 
that has been played out probably to its end, but it's it's still fairly new in comparison to your traditional, you know, dark fantasy or uh, or other type of uh, of, of genres within it, uh, dealing with mechas, your giant robots, and all that fun stuff. So, for someone like completely just don't doesn't know any like me uh, going into this world, um, this is a great channel for for, yes. for us to get a taste of of, of anime in, in Japan in yeah. Japan cinema. Absolutely, Anime One Hundred and One on Saturdays, which is at uh, twelve p.m. Eastern Time, nine a.m. Pacific. Yeah. That's the show that I do. That is for for pretty much everybody. Either someone that's brand new into it that I can that I can show something for them to, to sink their teeth into, mm -hmm. and even for some old uh, pros that have been doing it for longer than I have, that uh, come on and share their wisdom with me. Like uh, our uh, mm -hmm. our friend Pablo and Diego, they've been on a few times, and nice. yeah, they Midnight's they know. Edge Espanol. <laughs> yes, nice. Midnight's Edge Espanol. They those guys know a lot of things, and and as I told them a long time ago, they are my senseis when it comes to when it comes to this. So, wow. but I the big thing about it is I do love I do love anime. I think it is one of the greatest forms of entertainment, especially now with how derived of quality entertainment we have been here in the west it has been it has been fun to dive back into it after after all the years that i was away from it well isn't that something because it's just like you're saying like all this quality entertainment from from japan from india from latin america it seems from everywhere else but the states lately and that you mm -hmm. know that's a good prop that's a good bad problem to have but um but let's get into what we're here for ultraman yes. who is ultraman well, Ultraman is one of the older IPs that uh -huh. has been around basically since about uh, you know, about the 50s or 60s. It's about yeah, as old right? as Godzilla. Basically, Ultraman is a hero, a consummate hero. Now, for this particular one, uh -huh. the Shin Ultraman, it's a reimagining of Ultraman as a as a kaiju as opposed to being just a man. So okay, two things. Mm -hmm. What is a kaiju? And when I hear reimagining, that's not a good word. Typically, no. A kaiju <laughs> is a kaiju is yeah. basically Godzilla or a large, huge, city destroying creature. Oh, so that's awesome. Yeah. Yes, that is awesome. So, <laughs> so with this, what uh, they're from from what I've seen about it and what I know about it is instead of Ultraman being just a human size. The actual right. Ultraman, or in this case, a robot of Ultraman, something along that line, is as big and as massive and as gnarly as the monsters that it goes up against. So okay. it's it's a little different compared to what they were doing years ago. That's but then okay. again, they yeah. also have the budget to be able to to do that. Uh, but uh, this was uh, supposed to be released back in 2022, had a budget of 26.5 million US dollars, which is 3.56 billion yen. So it, uh, for them, that was a lot of money to dump into a to dump into a movie. Wow. Well, great. Well, let's see this um, Shin Ultraman trailer. And uh, yeah, let's 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 react. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we got we got an unidentified object and then someone coming from coming out coming to Earth. Yep. They're an alien of some type showing up and more or less uh, uh -huh. making contact. Okay. And here he is. Nice. Yep. Oh. Ultraman. Oh. <laughs> That's sick, man. That is. Hey, they got their human storyline going on. Yep, the human storyline. The big robot and the aliens 
storyline, the Ultraman storyline. It kind of, it kind of okay, has so, the feel of, of War of the Worlds, where you have, uh, uh -huh. oh, the one, uh, well, I can't think, can't remember the character's name. The most recent one with Keanu Reeves, where he comes out and he's basically the spokesperson for the alien race, trying to see if Earth is uh, worth oh, saving. Yeah, I yeah, get that type yeah, of yeah. vibe. I forgot from the name him. of that movie. Yeah. So what am I getting? Is this guy? Is this guy Ultraman? I think it? he is, but right. not the, not in the traditional sense. Right. I think he, from from looking at it, it looks like he is the the human embodiment of Ultraman. Right, right, right. Versus the the kaiju emb embodiment. But yeah, those are that's really good CGI for only twenty five million USD. That's not bad. It really you is know, good. The thing is, we're we're so spoiled with CGI because you know American films have overdone it with CGI. Mm hmm. That they have. But uh, they've always been more sparing in the right. use of CGI. They prefer, at least traditionally, have preferred um, practical Ooh. effects because practical effects hold up longer. And I like how at the end here it says it is a special effects <laughs> and science fiction movie. So there is no no second guessing or I love that or what or what it is it is a spectacle this was designed to be a spectacle that's sick that's yes sick. it is japanese cinema is very unique and fun one of the uh so is this out now from what i saw it did come out last year and it uh it should be Probably not as easy to find for us here in the States, but I would imagine over there it was fairly easy to purchase or to go see once uh, all the Akuf uh, restrictions lifted right. and all that. Well, I like I like the shot, right? I like the shot looking down and then going up with him because he's coming from the bottom going up. Yeah. That's a cool shot. That's fantastic, man. That and it then is. It, you know, yeah, it... it Someone said, or like my childhood is back. Someone said that in the comments when this reminded me of the of those old films that I would watch on the weekends on a, on a local television. Yes. Yes. This, yeah, it, it it does have kind of the feel of the uh, the awesomeness of the old Godzilla movies, and the you know some of the cheesiness of it, but also just the sheer magnitude that comes along with dealing with creatures mm. that are, you know, stories and stories tall. And how do we as the humans basically try to stay out of the way or get yeah. one of them to fight for us as opposed to fighting against us? I mean, that that was a lot of fun, you know, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that in having, you know, a hero like this and rooting and let's, let's kick some ass and let's blow, blow stuff up. Absolutely. Yeah, that one, mm -hmm. as I said, it's a little different compared to what they normally have done with Ultraman. And I know that uh, currently on uh, Netflix, they do have an Ultraman series mm, that they have been okay. doing that is completely different from this. So there's there's okay. tons of Ultraman out there. Yeah. As I said, it's one of the, one of the staples of Japanese culture. So what we're going to do is two things, right? I want you guys to comment on what you guys thought of that video, that trailer. I'm going to get you a link to where you can see the movie. Maybe, uh, you know, it's streaming somewhere or whatever it is. I'll, I'll try to get you guys, you know, connected to the film. But now we have another film to check out. Now, this is Shin Kaiman Rider. Now, you don't know anything about this, correct? No, I know nothing about it. this is the first time I've uh, I've heard of it or mm -hmm. or anything. So it'll be uh, it'll be interesting. So Shin Kaiman Rider released in 2023. There's an official site and Twitter. We're seeing the comments saying, you know, uh, rebuilding all the old old classic Tokusatsu on giant screens is strangely inspiring. Looks beautiful. Nostalgic it retains a breath of fresh air for a new age. I mean, those are good comments. Anime. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They are very good comments. So obviously, it's, it's something. It's a show that has been around for a while, then, because they're saying it's you know a nostalgia feel, but it's bringing in something new. As I said, with so much, uh, so much out there, it's hard for me to try and capture all of it. So this is, 
this is one of those things I've just never heard of, but I'm definitely well definitely interested to see what uh what they're going for with this. This there's there's a video here that says Kaiman Rider 70, 1971 versus Shin Kaiman Rider, which is what we're gonna see. So there we this go. This is a that looks like a uh, split screen. I will put that link in in the in the video description. That looks cool, but looks like this Kaiman Rider has been around for a minute. Yeah, kind of like I mean, how uh, kind of yeah. like how my man Gogo Thirteen's been around. There, there you was go. Uh, yeah the the manga is still going. They had the TV shows, the movies, but there was also a Japanese cinema that had. Uh, Oh, I can I can see him. He was in Kill Bill. He was the the sword maker. He played Golgo thirteen oh, in the Japanese movies. Sony Chiba? Yes, Sony Chiba, oh. yes. Oh wow. Yeah, oh. and he looked the part and, and everything. He was he was That's excellent. Exciting. In that. Get, make sure you send me that link, bro. Make sure you send me that. That's Absolutely. exciting. Okay, let's watch this. Here we go. Shin Kaiman Rider trailer. I get Power Ranger vibes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if that, but you know, that's where this came from. So, well, one thing I can say, I think this woman is beautiful. I love this. Woman. Yeah. I love that. Like that. To me, that's like that classic Japanese female face, you know, like with the, with the mod haircut. I don't know. I like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're definitely, they're definitely very pretty. Or at least they can be. Just like anybody. We can all be pretty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to me, this is more definitely more of a teaser. Didn't really. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the teaser feel to it for sure. If it's not coming out till next year, but some um, sort of uh, powered yeah. superhero that has the helmet, of course, you know, like, uh, you know, VR troopers or Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. I would almost, I would almost say the helmet almost kind of gives me like a Blue Beetle feel in a way. Uh, maybe I'm off base on that, but that's. That's the vibe that I get from, from the from the from the man there that uh, looks mm -hmm. like is the main character, the protagonist of this, or the one that has that particular power, whatever well, power that may be. And then cinematically, we're obviously getting tone and feel of of, of, of the world, right? Um, yes, that's a that's a nice. There's some nice shots. Um, I don't know if I have of enough for me. I would have. I would definitely have liked to seen a little more uh, martial arts here. Yeah, like, absolutely. That's like, that if that's, would, yeah, yeah. If that's what the show is, if it's a martial arts show, it looks like they've got uh, <laughs> supernatural creatures and and other helmet powered fiends about them. Right. And then you got old prickly ears here, pointy ears. Yeah. So, very different. And that's kind of like a classic. I like that that little move, a little the little shuck. Oh yes. Yeah, that definitely definitely a unique take or unique feel to it. It's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. Um I'll definitely have to check out what it's based off of and and how deep in the the culture and in the zeitgeist it currently is. I mean, that's a fun shot. I would have liked to, for, you know, I realize it's a teaser. Uh, I would have liked to see a little bit more out of the teaser. But yeah, it know. lacks context for us, but for, for them, it probably is just perfect. Right. Because they, they understand who the character is, whereas we don't. <laughs> so, right, right, right. So that's Shin Kaiman Rider. And uh, before that was Shin Ultraman. So, do you know as far as the shin why it's called that in both of them or is it like just like a title um you know i am not 100 percent for sure mm -hmm. why yeah. they 
I think it probably has to do with something with the language or and, right, and how the language works there. The language is pretty is pretty well set, and mm -hmm. com in comparison to either English or Spanish, there are certain words that can have multiple meanings, and trying to to fit some of them to into an English into English doesn't always work. Right. As far yeah, as yeah. what it means. Let me well, see if I can find it here. Yeah, while you do that, um, everyone, we just reacted to two trailers. What do you think of each one? Uh, obviously, for me, the Ultraman has got all the look, uh, has got all the feels. I remember those old, uh, you know, movies from the past when I was real little. That seems like I would, for me, I would go try to find out where I can see that. Um, yes, this and... other one, um, I'm still on the fence, but maybe there'll be a full trailer on. Uh, did you? Yeah. Uh, did you? Yeah. There should be more to it. There should be yeah. a lot more to it. As yeah. far as uh, what does Shin mean in Japanese? It has multiple meanings. It can mean true, genuine, truth, pure, do, just, exactly, Ooh. right, reality, genuineness, or Buddhist sect. Wow. So for these, it's probably more along the line of. This is the genuine Ultraman, the pure Ultraman, the just Ultraman, mm. or the exact Ultraman. Something along those lines. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah. All right, Brandon. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you know, please, we've been promoting uh, your channel um, weekly or you, you're live uh, every Saturday, correct? Yes, every Saturday at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific for Anime 101. I host uh, a variety of guests and typically uh, giving out to great recommendations and watching uh, some video clips and, and all that from, uh, from, from anime shows that I recommend. And then uh, during the week, it just depends. You know, Some days I can get videos out. Other days, it's uh, live streaming. I have, I have been starting to get back into, into gaming, which is another passion of mine for forever, but been it's been that's been a little bit more of a slow process but slowly yeah. expanding out on what i do but uh anime is the big thing and yeah come check it out well uh you guys can check out his channel all the links are there thank you for your time anime guy um let me know what you guys think of these two of these two trailers uh are there other japanese cinema movies entities that you guys want to recommend that we check out Hey, I'll check it out. Um, until Absolutely. then, yeah. Uh, thanks again, Brandon. You're so welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and wherever you're at, guys, you guys keep your slam fuerte. Pass. We'll see ya. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Slam. Yeah, but isn't this the unplugged version? I don't know. I think I think it's the unplugged version. Uh,